Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to my December and January wrap-up. So again, I thought that last month I was gonna go nail it and do some wrap-ups and TBRs again, but I failed again because I was studying for my exams, but I really want to keep on making these wrap-ups and TBRs for the next upcoming months because I love making wrap-up and TBR videos. They are my favorite to make and I think that you guys also love them the most. So I just really want to keep on making these and just show you all the books that I read and that I am planning on reading. So for this video, I'm only gonna do my wrap up for December and January because if I'm gonna show you my TBR as well for February, this video is gonna be extremely long. My February TBR will be uploaded this weekend. But today I will be talking about the books that I read in these past two months and I have finished seven of them and I, I'm currently reading one. So I think that's pretty good because for the last couple of months I've been in some sort of slump like I just I really want to read but I just haven't been able to because of school and my exams but I feel like eight books in two months is a pretty good number reading four books per month is like pretty good for me so let's start with the first book that I finished in December I've also shown this book in my June to November wrap-up but I hadn't finished this book back then, but right now I have finished it. And it is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And to be honest, I'm actually really shocked by it myself too. This is the first sci-fi book that I have read, like, ever. Well, if you don't count Cinder, which is sort of sci-fi-ish, but this is like full on sci-fi, so. Yeah, I know, the first ever, shocking, right? This was not my favorite book that I read in 2016. Uh, like a lot of other people, this was their favorite. For me, it was fun, definitely. It was a lot of fun, but it took me around 200 pages to really get into the story and to get used to the format, because as you all know, this is written in like emails and uh, messages and maps and whatever. It is very different, which I also really liked, especially when I finally got into the book. The story was a bit confusing for me in the beginning, so after a while when I started figuring out what was happening and what was going on, which ship was which, I understood it. You all know what the story is about, but I'm still gonna explain it for the people who don't. In this book you follow two people, let's see what the name is again, Ezra and Katie. So these two people have been in a relationship, but on the day that they break up, a really big ship is invading their planet and they have to flee off their planet and shit starts going down and it is intense and I really want to read the second book Gemina this year because also that cover looks so stunning uh, but this book was great and I would give it a four out of five stars and I would definitely recommend it for the people who are also starting with reading sci-fi just like me. Then the next book that I finished and I'm saying finished because I've been reading this book ever since June and it is Baker's Magic by Diane Saylor. I got this from a book swap that I did with Brit from basically Brit. I read 85% of this book, somewhere around that number, but <laughs> I read up until 85% back in July and right now it's January. So it's been six months since I've read the story. I have forgotten a lot of things. So I was just like, I'm just gonna say that I finished it because I read a good chunk of it. I've had a really great impression. I really enjoyed it. I would probably give it a three and a half out of five stars. This is a middle grade fantasy book that is heavily inspired by Dutch culture, which is great because I am Dutch, so I recognize a lot of the names and references. It is about a girl who is orphaned and she is hungry, so she goes to a bakery, tries to steal some food, but then the baker is like, uh-uh girl, I see you over there. You ain't gonna steal my food, but I will offer you a place in my bakery. You can come help me and, you know, I will offer you a place here that you can eat. And then this girl finds out that she has magical powers with baking and stuff. And it is a really cute story. It is action packed and I really enjoyed it, but it's just that I, time, time. Then I read a book for Dutch, again, read because I've only read one third of it, but it was so boring and it took me such a long time that I'm still counting it as a book that I read. So, and that was The Donkere Kamer van Damocles, which is literally translated the dark room of Damocles? I don't know how to say that in English. I did not finish it, but <laughs> let's just say that I read it. Then a book that I've been meaning to read for such a long time and I finally got to it and that is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I 
enjoyed this book definitely I really enjoyed it it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be so I would give it a 7 out of 10 so I would give it a three and a half out of five stars but on Goodreads I gave it a three out of five because it's definitely not a four star book for me uh, sometimes it was kind of boring it did not grip my attention as much as I wanted it to I liked the writing style I think the best um, the characters weren't my favorite part of the story I did really like the darkling yeah the world I feel like there could have been a little bit more explanation so that might be the reason why I sometimes thought like eh. but I'm very curious to see how the rest of the series will go I do have siege and storm and um, ruin and rising on my bookshelves right there um, so I will definitely continue with the series it's not my favorite but hopefully the other two books will be better than this one even though this was a good story so yeah then I read another book for Dutch and this book I really read because it is such a tiny book it is Het Perpetu Mobile van de Liefde I don't know how to translate this but if I do know how to translate it I will leave it right here but I don't think that you will find this book very interesting I gave it a three out of five stars uh, so I thought it was a just an okay book like it was fine by me then I also read a book for French which I had to read for my literature tests and that is La Symphonie Pastorale uh, I think it's by André Guide I'm not too sure uh, but I actually read this book in English because when I read a French book like I usually cannot really understand what is going on so when I read it in English I can understand it and uh, yeah I got an eight and a half out of ten for my test so I'd say that's pretty good so uh, keep on reading those French books in English Sabine oh yeah <laughs> after all of those Dutch and French literature books I really wanted to read something fun again and I was definitely feeling contemporary and I just wanted to reread something which I never really do so I reread to all the boys I loved before by Jenny Han this is one of my favorite contemporaries of all time it was a duology at first but then Jenny Han announced that there will be a third book this May I am excited for it I am also kind of like okay hopefully this third book won't be the same as the third book in the uh, the summer I turned pretty trilogy because I've also read that trilogy by Jenny Han and the third book from that trilogy was just <laughs> shit for me so I hope that this third book in this trilogy will be a lot better I enjoyed this book just as much as I enjoyed it the first time so I loved it I would still give it a 5 out of 5 stars but because Goodreads is stupid I cannot add it to my read list again I wish that they would just count the book twice when you read it a second time but they don't so I put it on my reread list and this is the second book in my entire life that I have reread I don't reread books that often. I think a lot of people can like relate to that. This book is about Lara Jean and Lara Jean, whenever she liked a boy but she just wants to forget about him, she writes a letter to him and then she's just completely done with that boy. Like she's not in love with him anymore. So she keeps those letters in a special head box but then one day all of those letters get sent out to the boys that she has loved before. All sorts of things start happening and of course the boys get letters and yeah yeah, it's ugh, I loved it and then the book that I'm currently reading and let's see on which page I am I'm on page 253 out of 410 or something and that is this savage song by Victoria Schwab this book until so far I'm really enjoying it I would give it I think a four out of five but some just a little spark is missing there I don't know what it is but I'm not like obsessed with it like I don't want to read it 24 7 but I am really enjoying it I think it's the third person perspective like you're not reading from their point of view I really like it when you read from someone's perspective because you can really see what they are thinking what they are feeling and I love Victoria Schwab's writing style so this book is about a dystopian world where there are monsters these monsters are created when someone has done a crime, has done a really bad thing. So you have three sorts of monsters. You have the Corsai, Melkai, and Sunai, if I pronounce that correctly. I'd say that the Corsai are just monsters that have really long teeth and they have very long fangs. And the Melkai are sort of like vampires and Sunais are monsters who take your soul by playing music. In this book we follow Kate 
who is a human and we follow August who is a monster but wants to be a human and their stories get intertwined and I hope that I will definitely be able to finish this book in February. So those were all the books that I read in December of 2016 and January of 2017. If you guys want to keep up with what I'm reading, what I'm currently reading, you guys can follow me on my Goodreads so I will leave a link to that in the description down below as well as all of my social media pages if you want to follow me on that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!